So now I'm sat by the Red Roof Barn, which has got a bit of a spooky presence to be honest. Um, if I never find I can really go in there. Definitely something going on. <laughs> I've brought with me today, uh, as it's new moon today, I thought it would be a good thing to give my crystals a, a new start. And so I've brought couple of cloth bags with my crystals all the small ones from my house that, that belong to me and my children and I'm going to take them down to a stream in a moment that's near here and give them a cleanse in the stream so I'll show you that uh, I'll show you the stream in a moment this yeah this farm is absolutely surrounded by bluebells just everywhere it's beautiful hi so this is the little river i brought my crystals to it's called the becker brook it's a favorite fairy place of mine i've walked about a mile from where i was um, by the bluebells for nearly a mile it always seems further on dark because it's quite hilly and rocky kind of landscape so I came here a couple of months ago actually and thought it was a really pretty spot so I've got my crystals here in this cloth bag um, I've got two cloth bags actually but what I'm going to do is to dip the crystals into the stream in the cloth bag So let's just go down. It's got a nice little shore here. And I'm just going to immerse them in the water. Um, it's not too deep and the water's not too fast so they won't get carried away. I'm just going to hold on to them though and just submerse them for a few minutes. And I'll give them a little wash while they're in there. So wash. See, even for a moment, I think the sun's about to come out. Oh, look, this one's already glinting. You see, but they're just, they're just really happy. This is my lapis. They love being in this natural environment. So I'm going to give them a bit more wash and I'll show you when I take them out in a moment. Here are my crystals, they're all washed, they're looking much happier. These two little ba bags are my children's crystals, <coughs> which I've kept separate. And also I found in the river a little piece of, um, where is it, sorry, it's a piece of quartz, there's lots of quartz here on Dartmoor, because there's lots of granite, <coughs> and some other interesting bits of stone, so I'm going to add those, I've asked permission for the fairies, I'm going to add those to my collection, because I've I've had lots of interesting experiences um, intuitively collecting stones from places and taking them home uh, and dreaming with them and meditating with them. So that's one thing you can do. So I'm drying them out now with a tea towel I brought with me. I've got this dry bag I can put them in. And then I'm going to walk back up to the bluebells, spend a few more minutes with the bluebells saying goodbye and the fairies there. And then home. So I'll see you in a moment. The sky has really changed now, as it does on Dartmoor very quickly. It's clouds come in. See it's very misty. <laughs> 
and uh, in the old days people would have called this pixie mist believed that the pixies had brought it in to lead people astray <laughs> and um, here is on shoe this this is called pixies cotton it's bog cotton is its proper name i don't know it's uh proper plant name but as you can see it's very fluffy and i found some that was blown onto the path um, so yeah, Pixie's Cotton. It's one of the things associated with Pixie's on Dartmoor. I suppose they may have made their clothes from it. Ah, wonderful to see. Right, I'm going to carry on back. Um, just heading over towards my car's parked over there is the back of saddle tour i think yes so luckily i can still see where i'm going <laughs> 